we're really excited about the idea of delivering this acoustic vibration to these epithelial cells because we think that it is going to improve the circulation, therefore reduce the congestion, make it easier to breathe, help clear secretions, and help individuals who have chronic nasal congestion. So when I talk to my professional colleagues, uh, some are ear, nose, and throat, some are sleep specialists, some are lung specialists, uh, their initial reaction is, wait a minute, this is, this is just vibration, and, and it's so simple. Could it possibly work? So there's, there's this initial criticism of whether this simple little concept will work. But as we said before, there's this unmet need. This has been around for a long time. No one really thought about, you know, making this device. And with the engineering now delivering a very precise acoustic vibration, a pressure that is um, a very controllable amount of air pressure with the oscillation, improving the delivery of the acoustic vibration. After you explain some of this and some of the physiology about um, what's happening to ventilation and even the nitric oxide, uh, there's, a, there's a keen level of interest because there's this huge unmet need in treating patients with chronic rhinosinusitis.